to you students. Welcome to Histology Lectures. Today we discuss sensory system. Sensory system is a part of nervous system responsible for processing sensory information. Recognize sensory system as those for vision, hearing, somatic sens sensation, taste and olfaction or smell. Today we discuss visual system. The sensory system consists of peripheral part or sensory receptors, intermediate part, path, neural pathways and central part, parts of brain involved in a sensory perception. Receptors are subdivided into neurosensory receptors and sensipithelial receptors. By these principles we divide all sense organs on primary, sensory, secondary sensory and sensory ending. For primary sensory we put uh, uh, eye and smell organ. Neurosensitive receptors are neurons which accept sensitive signals by peripheral process. Sense epithelial receptors are specialized epithelial cells which accept sensitive signals and then transmit it. Part of neurosensitive receptors are photoreceptor system and olfactory organs. Parts of um, sense epithelial receptors are vestibular cochlear apparatus and taste organs. Today we discuss photoreceptor system, which consists of eyeball and accessory structures. The eye is a complex of highly specialized organ of photoreception. The eyeball is composed of three layers, external, middle and inner. External layer consists of sclera and cornea. On this picture you can see it in a blue color. Middle layer consists of choroid, ciliary body and iris. You can uh, see it in yellow color. And inner layer consists of outer pigment epithelium and inner retina propria. You can see it in a white color on this picture. There are three compartments in eye. Anterior chamber is a space between cornea and iris and lens. Posterior chamber lies between iris and the lens and vitreous space. There are several apparatus in eye, one of them refracting or dioptric. The cornea, the aqueous humor, lens and windrows body including it. Accommodative apparatus presented by the iris, slit body and lens. Receptive provides perception and processing of light signal. You can see also form and rigidity in the voiding tissue, cornea, sclera and intraocular fluid. Oculomotor system includes sclera and three pairs of muscle and there are protective tissues like lids, conjunctiva, cornea, lacrimal gland, myobium and other one and ocular Sclera are opaque and provide insertion for the extraocular muscle. It consists of dense connective tissue made up of collagen bundles, a moderate amount of ground substance and few fibroblasts. You can distinguish here lamina cribrosa, limbus and lamina fusca. Cornea. Cornea is transparent and colorless. 
It consists of five layers. Epithelium, anterior elastic lamina or Bowman's membrane, stroma, which presented by connective tissue, posterior elastic lamina or decimate membrane, and endothelium. Middle layer consists of three components, choroid, ciliar body, and iris. Iris is an extension of choroid in front of lens. The aperture of iris is called pupil. The iris contains the dilatated papilla muscle and sphincter papilla muscle which are formed by smooth muscle tissue. Iris consists of three layers. Anterior epithelium which contains of pigment cells and fibroblast. Intermediate layer contains loose connective tissue rich in the blood vessels and cells and posterior epithelium which consists of two layers of columnar cells. Look on this slide and try to find all of this layer by your own. Iris contains dilatated papilla muscle and sphincter papilla muscle, which are formed by smooth muscle tissue. Ciliary body, an anterior expansion of the choroid at the level of lens. Secret ring that lies at the inner surface of the anterior of sclera. It forms a triangle in transverse section. Ciliary body consists of ciliary muscle and ciliary process. Ciliary or circular muscle, the smooth muscle, uh, is important in visual accommodation. Ciliary process are extension of ciliary body. There are the place of attachment of zonal fibers that insert into the capsule of lens and encoding it. It covered by the two layers epithelium and enclosed fenestrated blood capillaries. With this picture you can see ciliary process, ciliary body and ciliary muscles. Ciliary process covered by the epithelium and the cell with epithelium secrete aqueous humor in the posterior chamber. Function of ciliary body good visible in this picture. So, when ciliary muscle relaxed, lens flattened for focusing of distance object. When ciliary muscle contracted, lens rounded for focusing on close objects. This picture explained you structure of angle of iris and anterior chamber angle. So you can see anterior cavity which contains uh, aqueous humor. It consists of anterior and posterior chamber. And this aqueous humor is secreting by the ciliary process into the posterior chamber. Then this humor moves to posterior chamber through the pupil to the anterior chamber. And excess aqueous humor is resolved clearer than no sinuses. So, anterior chamber limited by the posterior surface of corner and anterior surface of iris and lens. Posterior chamber is limited by the posterior surface of iris, zonal and part of lens and the ciliary body. Lens. Lens 
Appearance is transparent, colorless, plastic and biconvex disc which is kept by zone fibers. The lens changes its uh, curvature in dependence of tension of zonular fibers and providing the ability to focusing on a retina, the subjects pose on various distance from the eye. Lens has three principal components. Lens capsule, capsular epithelium and lens fibers. During the embryology, the lens is formed from embryonic lens vesicles. So you can see uh, lens vesicles inside the uh, hollow cavity uh, and lens uh, epithelium on periphery. From the lens epithelium appears primary lens fibers and uh, these primary lens fibers filled this lens cavity. So primary lens fibers it's a nuclei uh, no longer visible and uh, outside you can see um, posterior lens capsule, anterior lens capsule and uh, uh, between lens capsule and lens nucleus secondary lens fibers. Vitreous body occupies the region of eye behind the lens. It is a transparent gel that consists of water, approximately 99%, collagen and hyaluronic acid. The vitreous body supports the lens and retina. And in the layer, retina. Retina consists of two portions, posterior or optic portion and anterior non-visual part. Posterior part lies in the surface of eye posterior to aura serrata, if is photosensitive. Anterior part lies in the aspect of ciliar body and posterior surface of iris. It is located anterior to aura serrata. Retina consists of 10 layers, 9 layers of nervous cells and process and 1 layer pigment cells. Retina contains a chain of 3 neurons. Visual cells, uh, rod and cones in outer nuclear layer, bipolar cells in inner nuclear layer, and ganglionic cells. On this slide, you can see all layers of retina. cells include in the retina. First of all it's a retinal pigment epithelium. Next one leucocytes or supporting cells or Muller cells and two type of neurons association neurons and neurons which includes in the chain of in vision chain. Association neurons presented by the horizontal cells and amogrine cells. Horizontal cells are associative multipolar neurons that establish contact between different photoreceptors. It is possible that they act to integrate stimuli. Amogrine cells establish contact between ganglion cells. And the last type of neuron, which forms three part chain of radially plus cells, connected with each other by synapses. Photosensitive cells, rods and cones, bipolar cells, 
and multipolar ganglion cells. On this slide, you can see arrangement of cells in their skin uh, and on histological slide. So, follow please. First of all, pigment epithelium is a single layer resting on group membrane which separated them from the choroid. Next one, photosensitive layer are outer process of the photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. Outer limiting membrane formed by the outer ends of Müller cells. Outer nuclear layer contains cells bodies of rods and cones. Outer plexiform layer is synaptic connection between the axons of rods and cones and the dendrites of bipolar cells. In the nuclear layer contains cells bodies of bipolar, horizontal and amocrine cells. In the plexiform layer is a synaptic connection between the axons of bipolar cells and the dendrites of multipolar ganglion cells. Next layer, ganglion cells layer contains the cells bodies of ganglion cells. Layer optic nerve fibers contains the axons of ganglion cells which collecting together form an optic nerve. Inner limiting membrane is formed by the inner ends of Müller cells. The retinal pigment epithelium shows a dark coloration due to the abundant melanin within the cell. Pigment cell, apuboidal or columna, has microvilli on apical part and form single layer. Function of pigmented epithelium is absorption of light, phagocytosis of membranous disc from tips and rods, and the stephyrification of vitamin A. Photoreceptors or photosensitive cells consist of rods and cones. Rod cells are thin, elongated, cylindrical, bipolar cells which consist of inner and outer segment, nuclear region and synaptic region. The outer segment is separated from the inner segment by a constriction, cilium. Outer segment is composed of numerous flattened membranous discs, which are not continuous with the plasma membrane. The discs contain visual purple rhodopsin. Inner segment contains mitochondria, smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, polyribosomes. Nucleus lies near the center of inner segment. Cones are also elongated neurons, but somewhat shorter and wider than rods. The structure of cones is similar to that rods. So a cone contains outer and inner segment, which are separated by cilium. Inner segment contains ellipsoid, which consists of lipid droplets and accumulation of mitochondria. The cones differ from the rods in their form and in the structure of outer segments. The region is also composed of stacked membranous disc, by they are not independent of the outer plasma membrane, but arise in invagination of this structure. The disc contains visual purple iodopsin. Rhodopsin is a visual pigment and uh, uh, coveraging neural connections gives them high sensitivity but poor equity and no color discriminations. Iodopsin less coveragingness in connections provided by color vision and fine equity. On this slide, you can see difference between rows and columns. So, try to answer a question about location of this cell.
cells, about their function, about types of these cells, and their abundance. Next question about the retinal modification. So you should know that there are two main parts macula lutea of ovaire and macula blind or optic papilla or nerve head. So, macula lutea is a place of best vision. It contains biggest amount of cones and the rest uh, layers are displaced. Ma blind macula is a place where optic nerve fiber leaves their eyes. Also, you can see here optic nerve. Functional systems of eye refracting, accommodative, and receptive. When light waves go through eyes, it comes through. Check please. Cornea, anterior chamber, pupil, posterior chamber, lens with through the body and through all layers of retina to rods and cones. In retina there are two steps of histophysiology. First step, photochemical reaction that occurs in the outer segment of rods and cones receptors. And second step is changing in concentration of internal transmitter within the cytoplasm of the inner segment of photoreceptors. Then the electrical signal is transmitted to the bipolar and then to ganglion cells. The ganglion cells generate action potential along the axons to the brain. Accessory structure of eye includes eyelid, conjunctiva and lacrimal gland. Conjunctiva covers anterior portion of eye up to the corner and internal surface of eyelid. It consists of stratified columnar epithelium with numerous goblet cells and lamina propria. Eyelids are mobile folds of tissue and protect the eye. Eyelids consist of dense fibroelastic plate, the tarsus, covered externally by the skin and on the internal aspects by conjunctiva. Cutaneous part also contains sweat glands, sebaceous glands and glands of mole and uh, uh, contain furrows of hair, the eyelashes. Conjunctiva of leads uh, lined by the conjunctiva. Large uh, sebaceous glands are embedded in the plate of dense connective tissue. Uh, also, we can distinguish tarsal gland and myobial gland. Lacrimal apparatus consists of lacrimal glands, canaliculi, lacrimal sac and nasolacrimal duct. Lacrimal glands are compound tubular alveoli and they are alveoli lined by the cuboidal serous cells with the basal myothelial cells. Canaliculi lined by the stratified squamous epithelium and lacrimal sac and nasolacrimal duct are lined by the pseudostratified epithelium. On this picture you can see different problems with the vision and uh, types of the correction. What about development of eye? So, I develops from the ectoderm which form lens feet uh, which becomes deeper to the lens vesicles. Lens is formed from the lens vesicles, cornea formed from ectoderma uh, is over the lens vesicle. 
neuroectoderma forms optical vesicles which differentiates from the optic cup. Outer wall of optic cup forms layer of pigment cells of retina. In the wall of the optic cup forms the neurons of retina. Nerve stalk forms optic nerve. And mesenchyma forms the other components of eye. The last question which we need to discuss uh, in this lecture, organ of olfaction or organ of smell. It located in the uh, mucous membrane of the upper and middle nasal cochlea. There is pseudostratified column epithelium and composed of three types of cells, supporting cells, basal cells and olfactory cells which have cilia and axon forming nerve. The supporting cells have broad apex and borough bases. The surface has microvilli. The cytoplasma contains yellow pigment that is responsible for color of the olfactory mucosa. Basal cells are smaller, uh, spherical and cone-shaped. Basal cells are precursor for both olfactory and supporting cells. Olfactory cells are bipolar neurons. The apex possess uh, dilated areas from which arise 620 cilia. The cilia are long and emotile and are structures that uh, respond to uh, odoriferous substance by generating a receptor potential. The axons of olfactory cells unit is small bundles directed towards the central nervous system. Read more about male reproductive system in textbook which you can see here in the reference.